Hello and thank you for watching this week's vlog. If you saw last week's video you would have seen that we got stopped dead in our tracks by a fallen tree. When we finally got through we moored up for the night before setting off the next day towards Ellesmere. Oh well the joys of winter cruising. It's hailstoning. Oh, lovely. It's living cold as well. I've got my thermals on, but it's my feet that are cold. We're at New Martin Bottom Lock, that's the last of the locks today. I've come in from outside, it's rather wet and cold. Dexter always decides to have a drink when I'm talking to camera. I'm going to go and get a shave and a shower. Anthony's at the tiller and hopefully by the time we've done that we can fill with fuel. Well, it's about to happen sooner or later, we've just been hit head on by a boat, haven't we? Really hard, it was um... I saw him flying around the corner, Paul was inside, I saw him flying around the corner. Um, I went over to the, to the right, because that's where he's supposed to pass. Slowed right down, um, and then suddenly he just started hurdling towards me. I was like, break reverse, he didn't hear me. Smashed straight to the boat. Um, did apologise, I did say, just put it in reverse. He was like, I'll remember next time. Why that won't be your instinct, I have absolutely no idea. And it was a private boat, wasn't it? Yeah, was, well. It was a private boat, but I, I, it didn't seem like it could control the boat, so I'm pretty sure he was either new to it or he'd put it off someone, I reckon. Okay. Just slow down, folks. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We're already near the Montgomery Canal. <laughs> Can I just say, though, that the higher boats that I saw five minutes later, perfect. Like, etiquette controlled the boat really well. So, you know, it's not always it's a private boat, so we expect them to be able to control the boat. <laughs> Right, well, um, all fun and games on the canal today. We stopped at Whittington Wharf hoping that they did fuel, they don't sell fuel. So we're going to have to carry on to Blackwater Marina by Ellesmere and we may have to reverse up to our friends. Right, I'd better slow down, there's more boats in front of us. <laughs> cold? It's about four degrees, isn't it? Feels colder. Seventeen litres. Yeah. Don't know where Anthony's going. Well, we've just filled up with fuel at Blackwater Marina. Really friendly staff, so a big thank you to them. And two hundred and seventeen litres. That's what we're using every three or four weeks. I just can't afford to keep doing this. After filling with fuel at Blackwater Marina, Anthony reversed and then went up to Ellesmere Service Yard. I walked over to the local Tesco to get some supplies for lunch. Right, I'm going to jump on here. Got my shopping. We turned the boat round at the winding hole and reversed up to our friends so we were facing the right Sultation. direction for the next day. We said goodbye to our friends and we were off again on the next leg of our journey. Well, we're back at Ellesmere Yard. We just got rid of our rubbish. I just nipped to Tesco, picked Anthony's van up. He's going to take his van from the yard to Wixall Moss and the lift bridge that's just there. Um, I'm going to meet him there, it's five miles away. Oh, it's lovely and sunny when we set off. It's raining now. Well, I'm just passing Blake Mere. We'd love to stay in this spot. We've never had time yet. Maybe next year. a long day just under six hours to get to that point when the sun was out it was quite nice but whoa, when it was raining it was bitter um it said four degrees today but it's felt more like minus four i was shivering let me just check on dexter's right down here i was shivering i couldn't stop shaking uh, but yeah anthony's worked really hard he moved the van forward to the lift bridge which was five miles from ellesmere helped me through the lift bridge then he got on the boat made lunch for us both got off about three miles down the canal walked all the way back for the van and brought it up to Ellesmere and I did two lift bridges on my own 
first lift bridges I've done on my own. I attempted this one last year and somebody jumped off the boat to help me. <laughs> so I've never actually done a lift bridge on my own. Easier than I thought, to be honest. Morning. It's the 1st of January, 2024. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We've just left Whitchurch and we'd planned to get to Renbury, but we may have to crack on all the way to Hurliston today. Uh, we've got viewers, John and Sandra, who are actually patrons, coming to help us at the locks. How nice is that? It's the second time they've helped us out at the locks. Uh, they're at Grinley Brook and here's a fuel boat filling them. This is a fuel boat chamberlain and we've seen it along this stretch quite a lot. It's a stunning looking boat. Here's our patrons and good friends, John and Sandra. These guys are. And here's the new gate for Willymore Lock, and this is the reason it's going to be closed. That would make your boat list, wouldn't it? 886 kilograms. Well, we're absolutely cracking on with the Grinley Brook staircase, thanks to John and Sandra. For those viewers that don't know, we're really pushed for time. We need to get off the Clangothlan Canal before the winter closures at Willymore Lock. And we need to get to Aqueduct Marina because our boat builder's carrying out work on our boat while we're away on holiday. It's been a couple of hours since Dexter had a walk, so we let him off the boat to stretch his legs. No hey, we made it. This is Willie Moore Lock by the Willie Moore Lock Tavern. Oh, so glad to get through. We can relax a little bit now. What are we on? 1st of January, so we've got four or five days to get to Aqueduct Marina. We've got a few more locks in front of us. We've got locks after Renbury. We've got Hurliston flight. Down onto the middle which branch of the Shropshire Union to Barbridge. Past Venetian Marina to Aqueduct Marina. It's six degrees Celsius with showers. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of eight degrees and a low of four degrees. Also, there's a flood alert in effect. Morning, with hundreds of flood warnings in place after Storm Henk battered parts of the UK. Floods and power cuts have affected the rail network, with many operators reporting problems during the morning commute. About 10,000 homes in England and Wales are still without electricity. I think it was that late, it's only five o'clock. John and Sandra, who are our patrons and viewers, not only helped us down the Grindley Brook staircase locks, uh, they're also taking me out tonight for dinner. So they're picking me and Dexter up by the Dusty Miller and taking me out for a meal. How lucky are we? Who's <laughs> lucky, lad? This is a really lovely combo me at arms. We're going to wind down to Neil for the places he's missing out on. We've had a brilliant few days. So our lovely patrons, John and Sandra, came to meet us because they knew we were on a tight schedule at Grindley Brook Staircase and they helped do all the locks for us. And then they went off. Then they came back in the evening to pick Anthony up and take him back for his van, which is just unbelievable. 
Um, they had coffee on the boat and then they invited me for dinner tonight. So they took me out for dinner and had a brilliant time, really nice food. They wouldn't let me pay, which makes me feel terrible, but at the same time, really thankful. And they picked Dexter up as well. So again, that's amazing. Also, on the same trip coming down from Grinley Brook, we met a boater called Mike who asked if our hard drive had been fixed because he knew from one of our posts on social media that I'd lost about five weeks of vlogs. And I can't tell you how upsetting that was, the amount of work that I've put in, the fact that we can't show that video to anyone. And one of the videos was one of my favorites that I've done. And yeah, a bit gutted. But then Mike has managed to retrieve about 90% of the videos and I can now link them to the project, which fingers crossed means I can upload the vlogs. But yeah, we're feeling very thankful and what a stunning morning. Oh, so thankful. Sandra's here. Um patron of ours. John's just dropped her off to help us through the two lift bridges. Ironic that everyone's decided to go through the lift bridges today because the weather's been awful for a couple of days but as you can see beautiful day today. So I've just dropped Sandra off. She's going to let Mike through. Mike is the guy that fixed our hard drive and recovered about 95% of our video files for the vlog. So we're very chuffed. Just checking I think sure there's a boat coming towards us. Sandra doesn't need to lower that bridge. I did offer to jump off, let Sandra take the tiller and me do the bridge, but she's happy. Doing the bridge herself. Oh, this is beautiful. I wish I had a week of this. It's amazing, isn't it? There's Mike. Just wow. This is the perfect cruising day. This is what I was hoping it would be like all through December, but no, we had rain and storms, didn't we? But this is beautiful. You can hear the geese just flying overhead. Sandra's walked up to the lock. There are three boats in front of us. I've not seen queues like this since summer. <laughs> With the help of Sandra and Mike, we were soon at the Hurliston flight. I'm already in lock two of the Hurliston flight. Mike and Sandra, such a massive help. Wow, this empties quickly. It was really good of Sandra to offer to help because the new Anthony was in work and we were pushed for time. Well that's it, the last lock of the Hurliston flight and the last lock off the Clangothlin Canal. We're going to turn left towards the Barbridge Inn and then tomorrow we're going to head to Aqueduct where we're having some work done on the boat. <sighs> I always feel quite sad getting off this canal. We've had an amazing time. We were hoping to stay here a bit longer, but because of the work being done on the boat, it meant we had to get off fairly quickly. And again, a massive thank you to Sandra for all the help today. And Mike, I thought we'd be helping him and he's been helping us. <laughs> I'm moored up at the end of the day, just past the Barbridge Inn, and again we want to say a massive thank you to Sandra. We couldn't have done it without your help. Jammy, is it called Jammy Shed or something? Or, but it's exactly the same colours. You know we can't do this lot without David Bramley. <laughs> Morning, got me sexy thermals on. <laughs> Not sexy, are they? Anthony's in the galley cleaning up, but oh, I did make breakfast to be fair. We're going on holiday in the morning. We're off to Grand Canaria for some oh, sun. Yeah. Especially as it's so muddy here and it's minus one today. Um, 
Well, Anthony doesn't waste any time. I've just been over to the office at Aqueduct Marina. They said we can moor the boat here because we're going on holiday in the morning and then Liam's going to collect the boat from here, take it into the marina and have it lifted out of the water. With the boat in safe hands, the next day we were off on our holiday. How's your holiday, Anthony? Just what the doctor ordered. It's just what the doctor ordered. There's a breeze here. Well, we could find and relax, and I don't think we've ever needed a holiday as much as this one. Liam kept us updated with video messages about the progress of the boat. After the boat was lifted out of the water, it was given a good jet wash and a clean, and Liam did repaint the blacking. It gave them 11 days to get the major work done to the boat. We've had a much larger prop fitted and we can talk more about the other work that was carried out in future videos. This is the day the boat should be going back in the water but with freezing temperatures of minus 6 and a frozen marina we didn't know if we could get the boat back into the water. I reckon I could drop that and it won't break on grass you know. Let's drop it here. Ready? Yeah. Give it a little patter, Romy. <laughs> After breaking some of the ice with the trailer, they had another go at getting the boat back in. It was blumming cold, but it was good to be back in the UK, and it was definitely good to see Dexter again. What are you doing now in that fridge? Hey, I'm prepping tea. <laughs> I'm hey. lunch. Oh, aren't you good? Yeah. Sound resentful. What would Claire Sinabria say, our good friend? If you can't do something in good faith, don't do it at all. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Is that what you say? Well, in which case, I won't sit down and not bother. <laughs> You'll get very tanned, Anthony. It's a bit of a shock getting back to the UK. Oh, yeah, especially with these storms as well. Um, but it's dead sunny out, so I don't mind it cold when it's sunny. I hate when it's raining. The wind's <laughs> horrific though, isn't it? The boat's rocking around. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we've had two days of strong wind and we've run out of water even though we're in a marina. Yeah, nobody told us that the, when it's cold that they turn the water off and they to only turn it on between two and three. So we've been like detecting the tap when it's still frozen. And it was only because I saw Jill this morning, she said, oh, I forgot to tell you. So yeah. we've been like on the dregs of water at the bottom of the tank. And we've been boiling the kettle, wasting water to try and defrost the yeah. pipes, thinking yeah. that's why we were getting no water. Apart from that, they've been really good oh, at yeah, aqueduct, haven't really, they? really, really good. Very good. So yeah, a big thank you to all the staff at Aqueduct and Rich yeah. and the team yeah. at Aquaflix, isn't it? Yeah. As oh. you can see, still being healthy. You are, still yeah. going to the gym. Yeah. Went to the gym on holiday. Uh, the last time I did that, I got COVID going to the gym. <laughs> that 1983. <laughs>
It was really good to have a visit from our friends Pete and Caroline off one day more. Right. We're sick of these storms now. We're trying to sleep. It's like being in the fun house. <laughs> but it's not fun. It's late at night. Listen to this. We've decided to spend a few extra days in the marina. It's, we've had storm after storm and it's like every other day. Last night, it was probably one of the worst storms we've had in the more than three years we've been on the boat. Um, yeah, the towpaths are muddy, it's cold. We're still tired from our holiday. We've got work to catch up on. Uh, we've got loads of laundry to do. So we thought it'd be a good idea to stay here for a few days. And I've got to say, everyone at Aqueduct Marina and Aquaflix at Operations, they've just been absolutely amazing. So friendly, so welcoming. And it's like they just can't do enough for us, which has been fantastic. The new generator has been installed. The new props have uh, been fitted. We've got a bigger inverter and a brand new motor. So we've gone from a six kilowatt or KVA generator to a 12. We're hoping that that will charge the batteries a lot quicker. Oh, but look at this, it's quarter to five and it's still light. It feels so much better when it's a, a dry day. Um, yeah, so as I say, last night was horrific. I think we probably got about three hours sleep fenders were banging on the boat, the boat was rocking around, the water tank, the noise from the water tank sounded like your boat was sinking. Right, anyway, um, Anthony's coming home tonight rather than staying in the camper van because he's only about 45 minutes from work and that's another thing, we can park the van really close to the boat. We're not staying um, any more than a week but we are, we, we just can't wait to get out on the canal to be honest and test out the new system. Right, I've got artwork to do later. <laughs> Catch up on some sleep, I think. Well, Anthony, you've just come back from the gym, haven't you? Yeah. And what did you do? First of all, you couldn't find the car park for the boat. <laughs> you went to step on the boat and you said, let's open the other zip. And then my bag that was on my back got trapped because <laughs> it wasn't fully open and I fell backwards and bloody foot went into the canal. Absolutely soaking wet through. I also oh, grazed my finger, finger when I fell. Ow. All you did was laugh. I only laughed when you bent it up on your ass. I didn't laugh when I saw your finger. Mm. That, that looks painful. Get what yourself, a loving partner. Get yourself a plaster. Would you have laughed? No. <laughs> you liar. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah. You were laughing yourself when you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? No. Yeah, you were. That's so very, very mean of you. <laughs> we'll give you a hand if you want one with more dust. <laughs> well, we've just done our first trip out with the new system on the boat. Um, it's only about a three minute journey to the fuel pump. Uh, we're filling with fuel and uh, we're hoping that this fuel is going to last much longer than it did with the old system, but only time will tell. Well, this is fun. We can't get the fuel cap off. Both of us have tried brute force and a towel to get some grip. Just like that. We're hoping they haven't. Oh, Built with diesel, 156 litres, that's not bad at all. Just been chatting to a lovely bloke from Greece who's thinking of moving back to the UK and living on an aeroboat. And we've been telling him what we love about it. We've also been very honest and told him, you know, it can be hard work and take some adjusting, but go for it. What do you think so far? We can't really test it out too much, can Not we? Not really. It's, um, it seems... I mean, that's reverse. That seems quite powerful. So I'm hoping yeah. that the bigger problem stuff is going to be making a massive difference. What we're hoping. 
Anthony's down in the engine bay because the fuel gauge isn't right. We're guessing it's because the boat tilted as it was lowered into the water. So we've got to recalibrate the fuel gauge. That's why he's in the engine bay. We've already done the water gauge. He's good, isn't he? I won't have a clue how to do this. Yeah, do it now. Going up. Okay. Done? Yeah. yeah this is our maiden voyage with the new setup on the boat. The motor's slightly noisier, but then it's not much bigger motor, so you'd expect that. It seems to have a lot more warmth. And what a beautiful day. You can get quite settled. We've been in that marina now, aqueduct, uh, for a week. The staff have been amazing. And we know people on there like Jill, Jill Gregory, but yeah, we're getting quite settled. Now we're out and the sun's out. This reminds you why doing this. It's an absolutely stunning day. We're just moving today from Aqueduct Marina to just outside Venetian Marina. And we may go up through Chumley Lock and more just above the lock. We shall see. Right, I'm going to concentrate the narrow bridge ahead. Bye. Thank you.